Hi and welcome back. I'm here again to explain something that I've learned from my own setup and I think it's something that will help a lot of people avoid the headache and waste of resources that running a separate audio program can cause. This is the second video in this series on audio routing through OBS using Windows drivers. If you want to see the first video introducing virtual audio cable, that link is up here. Okay, so now assuming you have virtual audio cable installed, remember that you get one for free and the price for two more is about $6. I'll explain how to set those up. I'm gonna go over the Windows settings now and then into Discord and OBS to show you how to set that free one up for your Discord voice chat. And then I'll switch over to how you'd set it up if you have the A and B pack. This same method can be used to isolate audio from any application that allows you to select what audio source it's using even including Google Chrome, and I'll go over how to do that in this video as well. So first, into Windows Audio Settings. You should have your default audio playback device set to your headset or speakers, whichever you'd like to hear your main computer audio from. Assuming you're streaming, this will most likely be your headset. After installing Virtual Audio Cable, you'll have cable input in your playback devices. I know the titling is confusing, but try to think of this as an actual physical cable connection, and it helps. So now, if you're using the free single virtual audio cable, you can set that to its own slider in OBS, but unfortunately you'll be limited to how effectively you can isolate that audio using only one additional driver. So in Windows settings here, under the recording tab, you do not want to check listen to this device for cable output, because if you do, it will play all the audio routed through that driver into your default audio, and then you're just duplicating the sound system wide. So now into Discord settings. Click on the gear for user settings, then voice and video under app settings. Your input device should stay on whatever mic you use and your output will be cable input VB audio virtual cable. So just with these settings, your friends' voices in Discord will only come through the virtual audio driver, but you still won't be able to hear them, at least not yet. So now let's go into OBS to fix that. Under OBS, go to File, Settings, and Audio. Your desktop audio will be your headset. Your mic will be whatever mic you use. And now your mic and auxiliary audio two will be cable output VB audio virtual cable. Then under this same menu down below to the advanced section, your monitoring device will be your headset as well. And you want to check disable windows audio ducking so that windows would not be able to lower the volume of OBS if you had windows communication set up to do that. So click OK and on your OBS audio mixer, right click anywhere and click Advanced Audio Properties. Then under Mic and Auxiliary Audio 2, which you can rename and I have, set the drop down under Audio Monitoring to Monitor and Output. So now only when OBS is running, you will be able to hear your Discord audio and you'll be able to individually control that volume in OBS for yourself and your stream. But as I said before, with only the single free virtual audio cable, you will not be able to separate the Discord or whatever audio source you're using this for from your desktop audio because then you won't be able to hear it. Now onto the most versatile setup and how I use it, which does require paying for the A and B pack. So again, after installing virtual audio cable in both A and B under Windows Audio Settings, you'll see under the Playback tab, you'll have Cable Input, Cable A Input, and Cable B Input. Set your default playback device to Cable Input. Under the recording tab, leave your default recording device to your mic, but now you'll see cable output, cable A output, and cable B output. Right click each of those three and click properties, then under the listen tab, check listen to this device, and for the playback dropdown, select your headset. Do that for all three, cable output, cable A output, and cable B output. So on to Discord. User settings, voice and video. Your output device will be cable A input or cable B input, whichever one you want, but remember which one you choose. So now back to OBS, File, Settings, Audio. Set your desktop audio to cable input, your auxiliary audio 2 to cable A output, and your auxiliary audio 3 to cable B output. Now whichever output you chose in Discord A or B, it has its own isolated audio source in OBS. You will always be able to hear it, but you can mute it for your stream on the fly. With this same process, you can set up any application in Windows that'll allow you to choose its audio output source. Some games even do that. 
And with Google Chrome, there's an extension called Audio Pick, and I'll include a link to it down below that will allow you to set Chrome media like YouTube videos to that third audio output. Okay, if you've made it this far, your stream audio should be good to go. But for recordings, there's one more step to get the most out of this setup. So right click your audio mixer section of OBS and click advanced audio properties. And off to the far right of each source, you'll see track check boxes. Your stream is default to channel one, but for recording like I'm doing now, you can set each of those sources to individual channels. So all of them will have box number one checked for your stream and each can have its own separate from that for multi-channel videos when editing in Premiere or Resolve or something. Okay, so I know that was a lot of info and please let me know in the comments below if I missed something or any of that wasn't clear. Thank you for watching and if you have any further questions on what I've learned or how I have my stuff set up, I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday night on Twitch. Link to that is down below as well. Thanks and good luck on your stream.